Hi, and welcome to Successfully Depressed, the bonus episode. In this episode, Patty Morrissey and I discuss what should we do in the in-between time where one chapter of our lives or work has ended and the next one hasn't quite come into being yet. Well, you know, it's funny. I was at the park yesterday with my daughter and I have a, you know, I I tend to make small talk with strangers and so does my daughter too. And this woman, we were just talking and, and I, and she's like, well, what do you do? And I was like, I'm kind of, you know, navigating my next thing, trying to figure it out. And I, I was observing myself as I was talking and I, I really kind of sounded like someone who was very confused and lost in life. Yep. And and I was like, well, I coach people. And she's like, oh, kind of like a life coach. And then I was like, yeah, but I have my master's in social work. And I was like, I sound like one of these, you know, sad life co- coaches that's not really qualified to even be a life coach. And so then I felt the need to be like, no, I have a lot of like, I'm legit. I have a lot of professional experience. And, and then, uh, I sent her my website after I, I got, we, we talked for a while and then I sent her my thing and I was like, I'm sending you this. And she goes impressive. And I said, I didn't send it to you for that. I just sent it. So, you know, you were dealing with someone who is legitimate. With what I'm it's, saying to No, you. it's hard that, that imposter syndrome, it's hard. Yeah. You know, like you have this, um, this self-talk that like, I do this all the time, especially now. Cause I mean, I've been dealing with insomnia for like six months. So like, no. it's been like tough. And so like, you know, the last, like three out of four days I've had good sleep, but like yesterday I didn't. And so just, it's like, it's hard to process things, you know, and then today I feel yeah. good. So it's like, everything's easier. And so when you're in that mindset of you're not your normal mindset, then it's easier to talk about something in a negative way. Just the, the way you're phrasing your language, like you said, like your credibility, you're like obviously credible, but in that moment, you're not feeling credible. Or I'm actually just sharing the truth of where I'm at, which is in transition. And uh, there's this there's this leader, uh, Tara Moore. She has a book called Playing Big, and one of the women in my coaching program actually brought up uh, a, a blog post of hers that she talked about this thing called chrysalis time. And when you're in the chrysalis, it's very goopy and messy and disordered and private. And so when someone asks me who I am, what I'm about, how I'm feeling when I'm in this chrysalis space, I'm honest, but it doesn't sound, it's not what people want to hear. And Mm -hmm. it doesn't make me look good because it doesn't look good because it's messy. Mm -hmm. And so I say, you know, I've, I was an older form and the older form was fully formed and functional and successful. And now I'm in this transitional messy middle. That's kind of my specialty is I help people navigate that. And part of my leadership in that is to be honest about it. And then I'm sure I have faith and confidence. Although sometimes when you're in that messy middle space, the uncertainty of it is overwhelming. That'll get to the other side and it'll be a new form that's beautiful and different and nothing that I could have, you know, planned and just letting it unfold naturally the way things unfold. That's a a healthy way to look at it. Kind of don't, go against it kind of just let yourself be and instead of like force yourself to be in a certain mood or force yourself to do something just kind of like go with the flow and everything and that's that's where it's kind of hard sometimes you know when you're not in a good space and you're running into somebody at the market or wherever and like how you doing and you're just like good i call it the great actor you know it's like this is the acting moment because it's like that's a hard thing you how do I get into this conversation with someone? I don't want to like, we're just kind of talking briefly. I don't want to take a bunch of their time. So it's like, oh yeah, I'm actually doing really shitty right now. Uh, how are you doing? Hey, how are the kids? Right. You know, well, so. And I even think these labels that we put on it, transition is messy. I wouldn't say it's bad though. Mm-hmm. And we live in a world where we want everything figured out, beautifully packaged, organized, And it doesn't work that way, but I think it's worse. People would rather stay stuck, but fully formed than go through Mm -hmm. that dismantling process that's required to get to that next new higher level that you need to go to. And so I think we need to let people express like, oh, I'm in a transitional space. I'm in a liminal space. I'm figuring things out. 
um, without it being like, oh, I'm not good because I'm not not good. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm just navigating something and there's uncertainty involved in it. Yeah, that's the way I'm trying to do it. You know, some days it's hard on others, but that's the way that I'm looking at it too is that, you know, I'm just trying to figure things out right now. Like with this podcast, it's something I want to do that's organic. It's a skill that I want to learn. It's a topic I want to learn about. It's something I want to help people with. And so I'm not putting a label on this is a business or this is some official thing. And sometimes I have to, I have to fight myself about, oh, I want to be this grandiose thing. I was in a podcast local meetup last night. We were just kind of talking about like longevity. And so it's, that's, there's a lot of, that should be the most thing celebrated. It's like consistency over time. And so that's why I'm doing this launching uh, episode every other week because that way it's you know helps prevent burnout and like mm-hmm. oh i have to do this every week and everything so it's kind of trying to find that happy medium so you're not in the sprint you're in it for the marathon the long term mm-hmm. you know. absolutely thank you for listening if you enjoyed this episode and like to support the podcast please share it with others post about it on social media or leave a rating for review to catch all the latest from me Check me out at kfinsan on Twitter or kerryfinsan.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.